Losers, what's up? This is the Left Smart Buster here. As you can see, um, this uh, Lesnar-Jericho thing has gotten pretty big pretty fast. And if it was a normal day, Righty and I probably would have made a video about it. However, Righty just had his wisdom teeth out and is probably going to be out of commission for a few days and is not definitely not going to be able to be screaming in a Smart Busters video. So we can't do our usual shtick. So I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing Righty the utmost best. Hopefully his mouth doesn't bleed too much and he makes disgusting blood bubbles as he's sleeping. Get well soon, faggot. All right, so I'm going to address this. <clears throat> I'm going to try to address this Lesnar-Jericho thing. I'm not as good as at the solo videos as Righty is, and I don't have the regular camera, so I'm actually using a good camera because this is all I have, so pardon that. All right, so the basic gist of it is Lesnar, after the match with Orton, um, with the blood and all that shit, he goes backstage and whiny crybaby Jericho for some reason because he's realizing now in his old age with his obtuse boobs that are collapsing in on themselves, he is irrelevant. He is regulated to working with Kevin Owens, the big fat jobber baby pregnant boy. He's garbage. He's useless. Nobody cares about him anymore. So in order to make a name for himself and try to get back into things, he starts screaming at Lesnar backstage, wondering, Is this a shoot? What are you doing? Ah! Apparently he like got, went in his face and he put his like forehead on Lesnar's forehead and sprayed his beef Canadian jerky breath at Lesnar. So Lesnar apparently kissed Jericho. And they started shoving each other. And Lesnar said, Either kiss me or punch me pussy or bitch or whatever he said i don't know some people online are saying he probably said faggot i don't know i hope he did jericho is a faggot with that stupid scarf but um so yeah apparently they had to get separated by triple h and vince mcmahon and what's pissing me off about this is smarks online everywhere are hailing jericho as this look this tough guy he stood up to the to the bully lesnar he didn't stand up to anybody. First of all, he's clearly trying to make a name for himself. He doesn't care about the boys backstage. The boys are all gay. Does Jared, you think Jericho really gives a shit about Randy Orton? Are you fucking kidding me? Randy Boner Popping Orton? That's the antithesis of everything Jericho is. A pretty boy who got handed it, who doesn't actually have talent. Jericho is like a pseudo smark. You think he really cares about Randy Orton? And fuck you. Who cares? Who cares if he stood up to Lesnar? He didn't fight him. He, he didn't fight him. I apologize for that. My hard drive space filled up. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Jericho doesn't give a shit about Randy Orton. They're not friends. Some... The fucking gayest thing I read, someone was like, he was just looking out for the boys. His buddy Randy. He, did, he was protecting him from the mean UFC guy. He didn't use those exact words, but that's what he was saying. He did use the word, his boy, Randy. Are you fucking... Stop trying to make Lesnar seem like this monster villain. He's doing what any of these guys would be doing if they had money and power. Do you realize how many of them, if they could, walk all over Vince McMahon and Triple H would? And if they wouldn't, they're just kidding themselves, white knighting. Lesnar is doing exactly what anybody in his position would be doing. He's making money to do nothing. He's beating up inferior human beings. That's exactly what all of them are. Jericho, Ambrose, Orton, everybody Lesnar gets into fights with or uh, has wrestling matches with is inferior to him. They are not as good of a species of human as him. If we were all living in the wild, they would be ripped alive. That would mean they would be eaten alive by him. <laughs> Sorry. This is a controversy over nothing. Who cares if they got into a fight? And now all these fucking articles online, all this is proving is that Lesnar is a huge liability. What? How is he a liability? And he's been known to, to go too far in the ring. Name one time other than this. And this was, first of all, this was a work. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. Are you kidding me? And name one time other than this, when he crossed over and he had to be restrained because he went off script and beat some... Oh, I'm sorry. When he cursed out Heath Slater, right? That was really horrible. The tectonic plate ceased moving when that happened. Get a fucking grip. Jericho should be thanking the good lord from above that Lesnar didn't actually fight him. 
you know, Jericho's up there. He's not thumping his chest because then his boobs would pop. But he's, he's pseudo thumping his chest up there thinking, oh, yeah, oh, I'm a tough guy. I know what I'm talking about. Lesnar backed down. No, he didn't back down. He didn't want to fucking be charged with murder, Jericho. He would destroy you. All this tough guy shit. Jericho's a stiff worker. It's fake, okay? And guess what? When you try to make that real, people die in the ring. Like your fucking, what's his face? Kenta Cub, or, God, why can't I remember his name? The, the fat toad Japanese guy. He looks like Hideki Arabu. I forget his name. He died in the, Masawa. That's what happens when these fuckers in their strong style actually hit each other and throw each other around. Fuck you. Orton got a little cut and bled. It happens. Okay? Jericho's just jealous that he's not popular enough to be in the SummerSlam match with Lesnar because you know fuck well if they asked him to, he'd do it. Because working with Lesnar, whether Smarks say the match is boring, whether Ambrose goes on a podcast and says it's lazy, no matter what, every wrestler wants to be in there with Brock Lesnar. And if they're lying and saying they're not, I have no respect for them. Okay? That's fucking bullshit. So that's just my humble opinion on this. I wanted to get something up so it doesn't look like our channel is dead. Like I said, right, he's probably going to be out of commission for a few days. But we should be all set by next week. And hopefully maybe the weekend. Who knows? But my my guess would be... I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, we'll definitely have our normal... I think this week we're doing SmackDown. We'll have that up. But uh, yeah, leave your comments. Tell me why you think... Smarks are stupid for backing Jericho and hailing him as some kind of fucking hero for acting like a little girl backstage and wish Righty well. Right now he's probably unconscious. So fuck Cody Rhodes.